underdeclared amounts when buying properties in Brazil. Hello there, my name is Luciano Oliveira, I am a Brazilian attorney. This is known as probably the number one fraud happening in Brazil real estate and it goes like this. You're gonna buy a property for let's say 1 million reais and the seller is gonna ask you to declare only 800,000. So in other words, you're paying uh, 1 million to the seller, but the seller is gonna be declaring that the property is being sold by 800,000 reais. And this 800,000 reais is gonna be described in the close in papers and the purpose of the uh, under declaring amount is for the seller to pay a uh, lower taxes unfortunately uh, some realtors not every realtor but some realtors they're gonna say this is kind of common in the Brazilian markets and uh, although it, it does happen every now and then it, it's not common and you should not accept and this is a crime this is not like uh, something legal It's basically just like lying about the amount of the transaction to avoid paying taxes so even by brazilian standards which is like a developing country this is still a crime don't do it another reason for you not to agree is that when you sell the property in the future you're gonna be paying more taxes just because you accepted a lower amount in the first place so let's go back to our example you bought a 1 million reais property but you accepted for the seller to record for 800 so let's say five years down the road you're gonna sell this property for 1.5 million reais if you do things by the books you're gonna pay 15 percent capital gains on the 500,000 reais gains that you had with the transaction right like you bought for 1 million you're selling for 1.5 million so your profit is 500,000 reais you're gonna pay 15 percent over the 500,000 now if you agreed with the person who defrauded the Brazilian revenue system guess what you're gonna pay 15% over the difference between 1.5 million and 800,000. So in addition to pay 15% tax on the 500,000 profit that you got, you're also going to pay 15% tax on the 200,000 that the seller defrauded the government, right? So you see, that's the payment you get for, you know, agreeing with a crime. You're going to pay more taxes in the future. So when you're shopping around for properties in Brazil, try to convey to your realtor or an attorney from the get-go that you don't want to play games you want everything very straight and usually the realtor is going to understand the message and the realtor is going to avoid properties with such type of sellers right again this is not just like something minor it's actually a crime and if you agree with that you're going to be committing a crime and you're going to be subjected to not only like financial penalties but even like criminal prosecution i hope this information was helpful if it was please like our video so other people can find this content and follow us for more tips